Hello everybody, um, welcome to my video on how to convert Grand Theft Auto San Andreas cars on PC to Grand Theft Auto 4 on PC. And soon to be, obviously, Grand Theft Auto 5. Just follow the basic principles I'm about to teach you and use the materials I'm about to include in this video link below. And you should be able to learn how to convert the cars. And it's very simple, it's actually relatively simple if you've already been converting Grand Theft Auto cars and you've already been putting parts together and you already know how to do all the hierarchy and stuff so we're going to go ahead and get into this first off you are going to need obviously a pc and you are going to need z modeler i would recommend 2.26 build 992 that's going to be the best um that's my preference that's the one i always use and it rec it works with a lot of different presets that other versions do not have um first off you're going to notice you're going to need a z modeler 2.26 and you're also going to need one other thing you're going to need um you're going to have to go to GT Garage. I put the link in here. It's a TXD workshop. And basically, you're going to download this. And you're going to get the 5.0 by Beer Beer. Whichever one's the latest one you want to get. Because this is what you're going to need to use to extract your textures. Now, all you do is you run, the, run it. And you open up. You can either open an image if you have a Grand Theft Auto 3 or Vice City or San Andreas image. You use this to open up the image. Or you can open up a specific text tool from and if you don't know how that works let me go over that real quick let's just do an example here okay um we'll find a car from san andreas okay so let's do a car that i really like um say we have the um and, and this is the fun thing about this the models for san andreas vice city and all of them are not locked Vi grand theft auto 4 models can be locked by zmod but this is optional. I'm not sure if somebody can type in the comments, but I think that most of the mods are not locked because DFF cannot be locked. And you will um, basically go find your car. So let's see your car right here. Um, let's see if we can find something for Vice City. I guess we'll do Vice City. Let's do... Actually, no, we'll not do Vice City. We'll do San Andreas. We're going to go to San Andreas site and I have no idea where to find these models. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Um, we're going to find a model here. Let's just go with a car. Um, let's do, oh, I guess I, this was the same page as I didn't notice it. Okay. So let's do, um, ooh, the Infernus. Okay. In fact, do I have that downloaded? Let's see if I have it downloaded really quick. And I don't think I have it downloaded. Um, okay, so this is what you're going to first do. Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to download the GTA HD car pack. There's a GTA 3 HD car pack. Um, and I'm not sure where it was at. I think it might be GTA forums. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Because, see, they got these cars, and they're all HD. He did a great job on this. I've already converted a couple of these cars, but there's one that I want to convert still. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. That's going to be the Infernus, um, I think. Yeah, we'll do the Infernus. Or, I don't know, what do you think? Infernus or Banshee? I'm just going to do a basic. Okay, so here's the download links. We will go to the Tri-Pack for San Andreas. It doesn't matter where you get it from, because San Andreas, Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto 3 use the same type of images, DFFs. So here's your images right here. We're going to be converting... I already did the Banshee. Um, I don't know if I should do this or not. Or the Infernus. I don't know, the Infernus looks really nice though. I think we're going to go with the Infernus. Yeah. So I'm going to download the car pack. Here's a car pack example you can get from the GTA place. I'll link this too if you want to download it. Um, so once your car pack is done downloading, <laughs> um, basically you're going to go and extract the two models just like you would in Grand Theft Auto 4, which 
and Grand Theft Auto 4 is the WFT, which is the model, and then you have the WTD, which is a texture. Now, they're different when it comes to this image. It's still the same principles. It's an image. You uncompress it, unpack it, and there's all the V-share, and there's the each car with their names in it. But for the WFT, for San Andreas, it's going to be a DFF. As for Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3, they're all DFFs. Now, the texture, it, the WTD for San Andreas Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3, I'm not sure if it's different, but we'll find out in a second when this opens up. And basically what you're going to do is... Um, open up your car pack. Okay, so here's your here's your models. Okay, so a texture. TXD is going to be the, the basic replacement of WTD in um, San Andreas and the DFF is the WFTs pretty much for everything so we'll go here we'll go find our car which is the Infernus and then I'm gonna extract it to desktop and now um, you'll open up your texture workshop and you need your textures right so you gotta go open up the Infernus texture find it open it it's gonna uncompress all this and you're gonna export all these in bitmap because most of the time it only um, traces to bitmap whenever you're getting it ready. Sorry, someone's in the shower. <laughs> and so you're going to export all textures to bitmaps. And I would just make a folder. Um, we're, we're just going to make a folder here. Um, where's the new folder at? Let's see. Here we go. New folder. Inf Infernus HD. Save them. No. And just save. Well, oh, that didn't work. Okay, so export all into Infernus. Uh, whatever. Let's see if that worked. Oh, export all textures to bitmaps. Here. So let's delete that. Um, I think you gotta select them. I'm not sure why it's not selecting all of them. All right, well, this is weird because usually it just, um, oh, well, there it goes. It did it. It doesn't do it. It's very ghetto. Okay, so once it's done, it's not going to give you notification. It's just going to do it all. So once you got your textures, you don't really need these anymore. But just to be safe, I would export all of these as um, TGAs as well. And then I would export them as PNGs in the same folder so you can add those into Zmod. Now once that's done you won't have to worry about that. You can delete it. You don't need it anymore. So you can just go into wherever your Infernus is at. Um, and you can delete the texture for it. Now I just take the DFF and I put it inside the folder with the Infernus. Um, with a workflow that's very seamless and clean so you want to have everything in it with the same stuff so Infernus is in there with all your PNGs, TGAs, and bitmaps all in the same folder once that's done you can exit out of all that and you can go over to Zmod well, once you got Zmod open um, uh, you're gonna uh, go and um, click on this green tool up here obviously just like you do your vShare for GTA 4 obviously if you're converting it to GTA 4 you're going to get the V-share for GTA 4. If you're doing it for GTA 5, you're going to get the V-share for GTA 5, etc., etc. Vice City, V-share for Vice City, San Andreas. But we're going up. We're not going down because it's already DFF. So from DFF to WF, WTF, or WFT, um, we're going to go get our V-share for uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. So I'm going to go in my V-share. And I'm probably going to import all of them. Um, let's do all PNGs. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to import all of my vShares in um, DDS as well, because sometimes it does like DDS. So now we've got those in. You, you have to go back and find your Infernus now and bring in the textures for that. So mine's on the desktop, Infernus. And I just select all. Control A, open. It's going to take a second. Loads up. And then once you're done, you've got all your textures loaded and you're ready to go. All you need to do now is hit this green button to import your, your DFF. So go down to where your in Infernus is at. Here's your DFF. And none of these will ever be locked. And I notice a thing right here. You can select the textures. When you highlight the car, you select if you want it to bring it in as DDS or bitmap. So most of my stuff is actually... Um, 
everything is, I think, either TGA bitmap or DDS. So the problem is now that we've run into is it's not going to trace DDS and it's going to come back with errors. So let's just try this to make sure because you want to make sure everything is on one um, type of texture file extension. So it's all my PNGs I know for my vShare are on PNG and DDS. They're not in bitmap or TGA. The problem is now is that my inference is the textures we just extracted with that editor are only in TGA, bitmap, and PNG. So the problem is we're going to run into is there's not a one that runs all of those textures together. So we're just going to test this to see, test the water, click import. It's going to come back with errors, and it looks like it didn't read everything. Nope, it gave back errors. See, because there's no DDSs. So what we're going to do is clear those errors out. We're going to go back, but we're going to only go back one time so we have all our textures loaded. Now what we're going to do is we got to do something that's very retarded. We're going to have to actually get another program. I recommend doing this. Um, I would just go run open IV and open up GTA 4. And once GTA 4 opens up, go to like some random um, vehicle image file. Mine's right here. I just opened it. I go to my vehicle image and I'll just open up a WTD. And um, actually I need to be in edit mode. Um, you're going to open it up and you're going to delete all the textures out of it and sorry about the mouse and then you're going to import everything from your inference. Um I would say mostly just import the the bitmaps because they're going to be a little bit um, actually no let's import PNG so we'll do all PNGs anything that has a flower on it for me huh <laughs> um, let's see so Looks like we've got all of them. So you open those up and you let them import. This is the reason we're doing this is the quickest way to get everything in one. So now that we've got all this in here, um, we're going to export all textures. We don't even have to save it. And obviously we want to go to um, DDS. So click DDS and then we go to desktop and then we look for Infernus um, HD and Okay, everything goes into there. Now we're done, we can click cancel. We can get out of open IV, we don't need to. Now we go back to materials, because obviously our materials are messed up. We'll go back into our Infernus HD, and we'll just select everything again, and open it, click OK, and then we'll go up here, hit that button, DDS, and then boom. Now we have a couple problems here. We have, we're missing Infernus Lights SA.DDS, we're missing vehicle lights 128. Some of this stuff is very funky on how it loads, but most of it's already loaded. It looks, um, the only thing we're missing is the vehicle 128, um, which we're not gonna use this 128. Um, for those of you who don't know, we're not using 128s at all. The only one we're worried about right now is this one right here, which is Infernus Lights SA. Now let's go back into our editor and see if we can find it in here. If it's in here, we know it's playing games with us. Okay, so here's our lights. Um, the problem with this is it looks like... Let's go see if it's in this. First off, I always go check because sometimes Zmod does not load it in. But um, you go look and see. we got Infernus lights. Okay, um, HD. Let's see. It's, it's not in here. Um, but sometimes it's it's probably because they renamed it wrong. So what we're going to do now is actually we're going to go to Google. This is what I do. Um, and I do Infernus Lights SA.DDS, I think is what it was. Oh, I don't want to go to www. Not. So I just searched it on Google pretty much. Infernus Lights. Um, and I just go to images usually most of the time. <laughs> oh, that's a nice, that's nice. I like that Inverness. It looks like almost like a, you know, something else. Here's the car already converted to GTA 4. Um, but yeah, this is just an example. And then let's see, we'll have to look and see if we can find dot SA. It's not coming up, so I'm going to guess that the file is right. The only thing I would say now is that these, this file is right and these textures are correct. 
that we do not need to worry about these errors. In fact, everything should be good. The only thing now is you will have to just go through here and you have to find which is which. And basically this is the part that's kind of the most complicated, but it's easy. You basically have to arrange all the parts to the shaders that they are and rename them first to um, whatever they are. So this is a wheel, so we're gonna do vehicle generic uh, tire on this, or chrome. And then we're gonna go to wheel edge and we're gonna name this the, um, the vehicle generic tire. This is gonna be vehicle chrome tire because it's a chrome part. See, chrome, and that's rubber. And then we're obviously gonna set specular highlight on the tire and make it 20. So I'll just do that now, and you can just go to 20 on it. And then we'll go to chrome, and we'll throw that up to like, like 70 is good. Gives it a little pop. Um, oh, don't forget to turn those on. Uh -huh. So look, it looks a little bit better too now already. Um, basically, now you're gonna have to f take this wheel, and you're gonna have to rotate it. You can't flip stuff because it messes it all up. Um, yeah, so it looks like everything loaded in good. I mean, there's not any errors, I would say, that that are going to cause it not to load out. Just the 128s. Um, and basically, you're going to go through here and find out which one's tire tread. Um, sometimes you don't want to put, like, see, we have two of them here. These are already mapped. I don't want to go through and have the problem mapping it again. So I just put vehicle generic two tire, and I, I just have two shaders for it. Um, it's not going to hurt GTA much. It's it's only going to slow it down slightly, but that's it, because um, the the less file, the shorter the file names and the less material uh, locators you have shaders, the better it is. But it doesn't matter. This car is under 800k anyway. Save your brakes. So these are going to be called hubs mesh or brakes mesh. Inference HD. Obviously, this is going to be um, your clear one. See, and you can just basically delete all this and put. Clear one there, and then do you know paint paint two. So we'll do in furnace paint two like that. Um, then we got our glass. Um, the glass is a different story because this part is the most sensitive. You're gonna have to separate the glass. You're gonna have to detach the parts um, of the glass, and uh, you're gonna detach the lights. And you're basically going to make those one, which is the vehicle uh, generic lights emissive glass. And then obviously the other one. You don't need this shatter, um, so you can delete that. Some stuff you don't need. This are, these are the, this is mesh, so this is going to be like matte mesh or something. I'm not sure. Um, and then another thing I've noticed too is sometimes the parts are um, difficult when they load in and I'm gonna guess that let's see is that part of that yeah it is so everything loaded in nice I mean engine everything's here I'm probably gonna convert this car as well later but um, you're basically gonna have to rip everything apart in here I would do all the shaders before you start detaching and stuff because it could mess it up another thing you're gonna want to do is you know how you do your shaders for like say this wheel has shaders, obviously every wheel is going to have, you know, a main texture, which is that, and then you're going to have your dirt. So what you're going to do is just do your default dirt. You don't have to have a dirt for it. You can just do your D default dirt, dirt, and then you're going to go and um, find that same texture, which is wheel, um, the wheel. And you're actually going to go back and you're going to add a new one, but you're going to find that wheel. Again, you got to go into, um, you have to take this wheel and open it, and you're gonna have to export it in a bump map. So I'll just do that as an example for one for one shader. So we'll go filter, NVIDIA tools, normal filter, scale of 25. By default, everything's okay. Just have it scaled 25, make sure it's purple. Click okay, and once it's done, you're gonna save as, and you're just gonna do underscore in, because typically everything runs like that. And we'll just load this as DDS as well. And uh, we can save it in the same place. Save it. It's done. Get out of that. Click your normal. Load your normal up. Your normal's done. Then you just go add your spec. For your spec, you can either add um, the normal spec or you can add whatever you want. But I, I prefer to add just the normal spec. And then you'll go here, change your specular, go to normal, 
change your bump map, go to dirt, change your dirt to dirt mud UV1 only, and that's a uh, texture, obviously, um, that's all correct, and then we'll disable that, click OK, and then bam, now we've got a nice looking, uh, or we should have a nice looking uh, tire. Another thing you can do is if this dirt maps like it did, see that dirt's kind of like offset on it, um, you can go over here and you can find you a new dirt. You can go find dirt like that on the internet. <laughs> Pun. <laughs> uh, you can find your own. So I would do, um, let's see, your own dirt. Um, here's a dirt, dirt PNG. That one's just like, it'll pattern. So you load that in, you click OK. And then when you look, it patterned it perfectly. So there's no errors with it. So it's just patterned over that wheel. And that's one thing I've noticed that has been wrong with this. But basically, you have to do that for every shader because there's not bump maps for all of these. Um, another thing I would recommend, too, is for, say, your whole body shell, because this is a huge texture. Let's look at this DDS texture. This is huge. Um, we'll go add it. We'll go to uh, the, the Inferness. The Inferness is going to be Inferness HD. They always use eyes. Okay. So we'll load up this DDS. Ooh. I always load DDSs because they load alpha better. This is a huge one. You want to load default. Just click OK. Everything it asks you. Don't be confused and start messing with shit. This thing is huge. All right. So what you're going to do now, um, let's see how much it weighs pretty much right now. So let's see. It's uh, it's 12 megs, but uncompressed in Zmod. It's, let's see the properties on it it is five so that's good I'm not worried about that too much now um, the PNG here if you check this out now it doesn't matter how you export it because we can always change the textures because they're all gonna get changed to PNG to um, make it more optimum because you don't want to have a lot of textures because it'll load horribly wrong um, but let's see we'll go um, back to Inferness and we'll go to Inferness HD and let's load up that Inferness HD PNG. Look at this. Boom. 2.37. That's perfect. So we'll actually just load that one up because it's already optimized. We'll load it into Photoshop. And obviously we're going to do the same thing. Make a bitmap. If you don't have this NVIDIA tools bump map filter thing, I'll link it in the description. Calm down. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And then um, underscore normal. And we just save it there again. Man, we're going to save it as PNG because PNGs are what we want to use too. If it came from PNG, save it as PNG. If it came from DDS, save it as DDS. You want to keep the alphas for most of these. So once you get that done, you want to go find your normal. Load up your normal. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So click cancel now because we don't want to load this up. So this texture is loaded, but we're going to go back and change it to Inferness HD PNG. See if it loads it. Yep, yeah, it loaded it. And then this reflection, obviously you're going to delete all this, so don't even worry about that. Some of these textures you won't use. I just wanted you to load them up so it wouldn't give you as much errors to make it as confusing. Um, let's see, now you're going to obviously want to find a dirt. So I would recommend using that dirt pattern because it's not... You can do a UV2 on it, properties UV2, to make it pattern perfectly with default dirt, which is... Um, uh, right here but I don't want to use that anyway because it's not even mapped how the car sits if you look at the car um, we've got the car here so we'll go to the dirt it looks like that's the back side trunk front or something like that and we go to the actual cars boom we click it there's nothing mapped correctly on that so there's no reason on using that so we're gonna use this dirt and we use that as dirt obviously this is um, not multiply add this is going to be uh, reset it dirt mud reflection and it's going to be UV2 some of these textures if you notice that one that was there before it's gonna have predefined settings you're gonna have to go in and reset those settings go to simple mode all you have to do is go to like texture it'll reset it and then go back to whatever your texture is dirt mud and make sure it's UV2 click OK and it looks like it bumped that really nice out now we're gonna go find the bump map for it which is right here um, Infernus HD underscore chocolate ice cream. Okay, I don't see the bump. Where the hell did the bump go? Hmm, did I not load the bump up? 
I don't think I did. Oh, well, we'll load it again. Sometimes stuff does not load, and you will, you will know that you will learn this as future Z modeling. <laughs> See, there is the bump loaded up. Bump. Go up here. Bump map. Boom. Uncheck it. Then we go to our spec. Yeah, I can't see. Where's the spec? Okay, we'll, we'll do PNG. Whatever. Let me go and go spec. Yeah. All right. Boom. And then look, we got a nice looking car. It looks beautiful. Um, okay, so basically that's what you're going to do for these shaders. Everything is mostly the same, and you're only going to delete certain ones. I would not recommend deleting them. I would only recommend replacing textures because most of the time until you get to the end of doing the shaders will you know which ones you can delete and I will show you that in one second. Now one thing I want to show you real quick, you're going to flip the wheel around, you're going to go through this whole hierarchy right here, we'll, we'll do that in a second, um, but one thing I wanted to show that was very important, oh my god I can't remember now, um, is that, um, oh yeah, see this, sometimes stuff when it's important in the Z mod, it's flipped around and I've noticed that so this is okay but this spoiler something's wrong with it obviously can you see that it looks black so we'll have to go find the spoiler or we can just go over here to the extra right click on it show isolated boom there we got our spoiler and it looks as if everything in that extra is black and usually that's a behavioral sign that means that hey I'm flipped you need to flip me because the textures are inside out because you can kind of see through half of it. So basically at this point, I just do a select, and this only goes for San Andreas, I've noticed, and just select the whole image, and then I'll go to modify, flip it, and I'll click it, and it usually fixes it. Most of the time. I'm not sure if that fixed it that time, but um, let's see, let's, let's try it again on a different level. Okay, so let's load up. Um, okay, so um, now that we've got that still selected. Yeah, it didn't. Um, yeah, it didn't. It looks like it flipped it. So. That's what we wanted, is we wanted it to flip. So that's good. See, if you look, if you go back, it, it just, it's it's not there. You don't see it. And you go forward, it's good. So we're good there. Um, the only thing I would recommend now is you're going to have to retexture that. And some stuff you don't need. Like, we'll go show this isolated again. You don't need that stuff in the front. You really don't need it. All you need is uh, the stuff on the back. And then you'll just have to reassign um, it. So I think we could just go up here. Let's see, Infernes HD. Is that it? Yeah, that's the only one assigned to that one. Um, but it's pretty much assigned to it. So you'll have to like reassign a texture to it and just make it the same color. And usually that'll work. Um, and let's see, through here, you don't need the petroleum cap. Let's just go with the hierarchy now. Um, delete that, delete the pad arm, headlights S2, I'm not sure why that's out there. I usually just open everything in complete, like, just everything. So we've got all the tail light dummies, headlights, you don't need headlight dummies, you don't need anything with dummy, you don't need except for the wheels. Keep the, the wheel dummies. Um, bumper front dummy. You actually, you do need that because that's actually not the dummy. They they used that for a certain part of the car. Oh no, they didn't. Never mind. So you don't need da you don't need dams. Anything with dam in it, you don't need it. So we'll just um, show all. And you don't need that headlight, whatever that is. You don't need back piece. What is that? Yeah, we need that extra three. I'm not sure. Let's show isolated. In fact, this might be the part we need to flip. And this might work better. Let's, let's try and flip this real quick. Watch this. Oh, well. We'll fix it eventually. 
and then we've got that which doesn't need to be flipped it looks pretty good from what I can see yeah so and then we've got this extra two flip that again and then we got that which was flipped already and then like I said the OKs you want to keep the damages you don't want so delete all damages and delete all um, dummies you don't really need the the windscreen dummy you're gonna replace that anyway so um, head front seat you need that exhaust I would leave the exhaust because you can actually make those again when you go in UGG nitro I'm not sure what the hell that is for it looks like it's just for NOS so we'll delete that then you've got the chassis exhaust windscreen and then we've got um, the wheel and you want to keep the wheel with that so let's leave that leave all that stuff alone bumper front um, I'll leave that Yeah. You want to delete all the damages, like I said, you don't need any of these damages because we're going to use the collisions from a real San Andreas model. And then, um, right, looks like we're done there. Let's uh, extract, un unlink that, and then we'll go here. I'm linking everything from the dummies. That's pretty much what you want to do. So we'll just unlink children. Boom. Unlink. Unlink. So we'll show all now. And then we'll just hide everything that's not. It's not a dummy. Just so we can see if the dummies are parts and it looks like one dummy is a part see okay so we've got boot oh no it's not okay so boot dummy you don't need that windscreen dummy you don't need that door right front dummy you don't need that left front dummy you don't need that bonnet dummy rear dummy that. okay you don't need it um that's pretty much all your parts boom so now you've got your parts um, if you want to, you can use this chassis Velo for your L3. In fact, I recommend it because it's going to load the car optimally, but you don't really need to. I always just duplicate everything, so you can use that if you want to and make it, you know, um, chassis L2 and just do it like that in the end um, and just uncheck it and keep it, you know, down here for when you need it. But I'm not going to use it, just so you know. And yeah. I just leave it there. Um, now the other thing, we'll have to go through and rename stuff like this. Okay, so all this stuff is going to get renamed obviously to the real counterparts. Obviously windscreen is windscreen, bump front is bumper underscore F L zero. Everything that's a part is going to be a L zero. Um, and it's going to be named so door side, um, door passenger side F L zero. Um, bumper underscore RL0 um, you know exhaust and then you're gonna have you're obviously gonna have more than one exhaust you're gonna have like you're gonna have like uh, four so you're gonna have four of those so basically you just duplicate that mirror flip it and then duplicate it again flip it slide it duplicate slide it and you're good there this is obviously gonna be called the chassis or body shell or no, no, wait, 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 that's confusing. Let's see what that's about. Okay, so that's the body shell. That's sort of the body shell. Well, that is the body shell. It's backwards. So we're going to name that body shell. That's weird how that's body shell underscore LO. And this is chassis underscore L0. So boom, there you go, there's your, your chassis, your body shell done, your L0, move that down there just to put it there, whatever, extra threes, 
this goes up here and then um, you've got your looks like that's back piece <clears throat> that's weird I guess we could make that the bumper but I'm not sure if I would want to use that because we already have a rear bumper so this back piece is actually not going to be that it's going to be body shell and we're going to attach it later we're going to attach everything as one I try to keep the workflow nice as that and obviously we're going to rip out these lights um, and we're going to uh, delete the glass off the back because I don't think the glass works most of the time <laughs> and pretty much you're going to duplicate the for the lights part you're gonna duplicate um, see these right here are gonna be reverse lights so you'll make those your reverses you'll make these inner ones your brake lights in the outer ones um, actually no you'll make yeah you can make these inner ones your brake lights the outer ones um, no, no, you can just make both of those on each side. The circles, you can make them your brake lights. And the outside of it, you can make it your tail lights because that would be cool. And then, um, you know, you pretty much, uh, you don't have to change your plate or anything like that. And then um, we'll have to fix that extra because see how they're doing that now? If I flip that again, it fixes it slightly. So there's something going wrong with that. I'm not sure and I'll probably fix it later but that's one thing that I've noticed it's confusing whenever importing these models they do this because they don't want you to rip it and people somehow mess shit up when they do this and yeah it's not good to do but so that's pretty much uh, my tutorial now all you have to do is go through is make all these um, to the L zeros in shader everything properly once you get that done you're going to go get the model you want. So like say you want, you're going to replace this with the Infernus, right? So you're going to actually go open up um, your open IV and you're going to open up GTA 4 and you're going to open up an Infernus default Infernus car. You don't need to extract the textures, all you need is a car. So you got to go open up, um, let's see, let's do um, vehicle image, no patch, Infernus. So I'll load it up to see if it's an Infernus. And um, there we go. There's an Infernus there. So all we got to do is extract it to desktop. Once that's done, you can exit out. Then you open up Zmod again. Or you can close, save this and close it if you have a slow computer. And then you're going to go up here and you're going to go to um, Import. And you're just going to go down to your Infernus load up your Infernus, disregard all these errors and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the, the red button and you're going to click on all these and delete every single shader out of it and click OK. Once this is done you will go in here and you will find everything that you're going to replace so basically you're not going to replace L1s and L2s so you're going to delete everything that's L1 except that L2 you might replace but I don't know you could probably already use this L2 but it doesn't matter so you can if you're gonna replace L2 leave it if you're gonna not delete it so anything you're not gonna replace delete so basically you're gonna go through and you're gonna delete all the L zeros you're gonna keep collisions and L1s only you're gonna delete L2s for everything as well um, this is just something simple that I'm gonna show you it's really really nice I, I recently learned how to do this it's just quick and easy so extra uh, you want to look and make sure for extras that's most important misc and extra parts you want to see how many misc and extra parts there are and say like you only have one extra it looks like I only have one extra here um, let's see if we actually have more real quick um, we do not have more we only have one extra so obviously that's in boot um, that's good because that's where we're gonna actually have our extra which doesn't matter um, so when we go back to our other one we have three extras and obviously they're not you want to make sure everything's named correctly extra one and then you know you want to extra two and you want to do that for all these I'll show you I'm just showing you an example and once this is done 
So you have your L0 stuff, but these two right here, there's not two of those in that other file because um, there's only using this one. So in order for this to run in correctly, you want to add a dummy. So we'll add two dummies. We'll call them extra, extra underscore two and extra underscore three. And you'll load up your extra two and put it in extra there and you'll put extra three in there, etc. So once those are loaded up, we'll have their own dummies and they'll actually just merge correctly and you don't have to worry about anything. Um, once that's all done here, you go back and you will... Um, actually, one other thing too here, but with your shaders, there's certain things you're going to rip apart. You're obviously going to rip apart the lights from the bumper and from that body shell right there. Um, the other thing, you're going to ped front seat. You're going to keep that, but you're going to name it, you know, um, what the what the other one's named, which is uh, driver side F. And so you'll duplicate it and name it P side F, but you'll do that over here. So you'll duplicate this one, flip it over here so it already knows the position. So you don't have to map it or anything. It's already there. So you'll name this, you know, driver side F. And then um, you'll put the other one P side or whatever. Or no, this one's P side because it's on the right side of the car. My bad. Okay, so once that's done, um, you're going to, you know, like I said, you'll rip apart the lights and stuff. Um, the only other thing you're going to rip apart, obviously, is your chassis. There's one thing I noticed and I hate it. Chassis is mesh or it's, you know, it's not interior. You're going to have to rip apart all this interior out of here. And you're going to have to custom make a shader using the same stuff from Infernus HD. Okay, never mind. It has its own shader. Wow, that's cool. But still, you're going to make its own shader here. Because you want to make a duplicate of the shader. And you're just going to assign it to it. But you're going to make it instead of like, for this, is this is going to be mesh, I think. Um, you're going to duplicate or make a copy of it. See how I did that? Infernus interior 2 and then you're going to do the shaders how you do interior 2 which is just that bump map and a spec and you're going to give it spec with like you know less than it would normally which is like 40 or something then you're going to rip apart everything in here all the everything that's interior looks like it's like these seals the dash the floor mats, the seats, the console, all that stuff. Not the mirrors, not any of the hinges, nothing like that. You're just going to rip that out, detach it, and then you're going to highlight select it, and you're going to assign it to the interior too. So it gives it that nice spec without having the bump map from mesh, which makes it look really bumpy and nasty. So that's pretty much the only thing I could say that is weird with these with certain models that they don't they don't work correctly. Um the other thing that I would say now is um, pretty much happy modding. Oh, and then, yeah, once you get everything down to L zeros in here, you're going to go back over to your Infernus, and um, after you've deleted everything, you're going to, first, before you do anything, you, once you've got all this deleted, all the L zeros and everything, you're going to go File, and you're going to save it, but you're going to save it as Infernus, Con convert, Infernus convert, because you're going to convert that Infernus to this one. And once you save it, you're going to exit and you're going to reopen it, because what that's going to do is it's going to relocate everything away from materials, just as like an official thing, like to make sure it's not, you know. So once that's done, all you do now is you go to wherever, like this car, so you, you'll show everything once it's done for your car. You'll go file and you will save this as a Z3D, you'll save it as Infernus, right? Then you'll go to your other one, which is your GTA 4 Infernus, and you'll go File, and you'll Merge, and you'll go to your one that you just saved, which is like your Infernus, and you'll click Merge. You know, once once you click Merge, it's going to show this box. It's going to say, um, it's going to say something about Select All. You're going to click Select All and click OK. It's going to merge everything. Shouldn't give you any errors. Basically, it's going to replace every single L0 part here with the ones from that. And it's going to make it so easy to have everything replaced. It's just going to be nice. And then from this point on, you will just make all your L0s, line up all your collisions and your dummies. And I think that's pretty much all you have to do. 
and then load it up, save it as a WTF, um, and then go get a WTD and take all your textures and load it into it and load it up in game. And I think that's pretty much all you got to do. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I know this has been a 45 minute video, but hopefully it helps somebody. I made this for somebody because they said there was not a tutorial out and there isn't that actually has someone talking in English and speaking clearly and recorded. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. GTA signing out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Like the video if it helped you and subscribe for more daily GTA content and mod stuff. So I'll see you guys later.